Hi everybody, um, just wanted to bring you up to date on my 20 gallon quarantine tank. Um, well, it's no longer gonna be a quarantine tank, it's uh, gonna be another one of my show tanks. Um, but right now I'm kind of letting the, I have Claudophora algae growing in here on, and it's growing on my Petite Anubias. And it actually came in on the Anubias when I ordered it. And um, it, the two seem to coexist quite well. It doesn't really damage the Anubias, um, but it does help with the water parameters. So right now I'm just gonna leave it in here. If at any point I wanna get rid of it, I found that if I soak the plants, remove them from the tank, soak them in a bucket of water um, with about three milliliters of hydrogen peroxide, that's to one gallon of water, and if I soak them for a day or two, it loosens up the algae to the point where I can just pull it off. But right now it's um, helping to keep the tank stable. The fish like it, um, the shrimp like it. Um, so it's not bothering anybody, so I'm just gonna leave it be for right now. But what I wanted to say about this tank, which has been up and running for about a year now, it has a three inch deep sand substrate I'm running a Fluval 206 on it, an old canister, a 206, at about half flow rate. I do have another sponge filter in here, and that's more for emergency backup because I live in Florida and we have a lot of power outages and we're in hurricane season right now. But I have finally reached full denitrification in this tank, which I'm very happy about. I haven't gotten there yet with my other deep sand substrate tank, which is my 55, but I'm getting close. But this tank has undetectable nitrates. And even though I only have four Corydoras in here right now, I do feed them quite heavily three times a day. So I'm very thrilled how this tank is developing. Um, I do plan to add some more fish in, which means I have to set up a quarantine tub since I'm out of tanks right now. But that's easy to do. I have a 40 gallon tub, which I just use for aquarium use only. Um, usually it's my emergency hospital tank, but I have plenty of sponge filters going in my other tanks, so I'm just gonna toss a sponge filter in there and I should be good to go. But I just wanted to keep you updated on this tank. I'm thrilled, I'm so happy with the way it's developing. Um, and we'll see what happens with the denitrification cycle, if it can keep up as I slowly start to increase the bio load on this tank. Anyway, thanks for stopping in and I'll keep you all updated. Thank you.